as much as it hurt me as a as guy from Massachusetts in 2010, when you hit that three and you come back from down 3-2 with the Lakers, I was really happy for you because everything that you had gone through, I was like, this is a great moment because you hit that big shot. You win a championship. Um, and it, it's funny, too, because you're still young. You know, like it's you. You played a long time, and you played years beyond that. But how do you remember that moment for you and your career, kind of coming full circle through all the shit? It was crazy, yo. That that moment was crazy. I'm not gonna lie, because like that whole that whole year was crazy. Because I was I was actually asked for a trade in, <laughs> in of November, because <laughs> I was like, there's no way it's gonna work. I mean, I'm in my prime. You know, I just came off averaging 24 or something like that against the Lakers in the playoffs. And now I'm like not getting shot. So, you know, I told my age, I said, yo, you got to get me out of here now. <laughs> um, then I met with Bus. <laughs> I met with Dr. Bus, and, you know, we, it, it never really escalated. I handled it the right way. And, you know, it was just about, we had, we had a lot of conversations and we met a lot. Like on Sunday, we had, we had breakfast. They just talk about, you know, winning championships. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of made me, you know, really take on the challenge of being, a role player and perfecting that role, like being the best at that role. You know, some games, some games I would get two shots. You know, some games I got 10. It just, it just never knew. In the playoffs, I had, and I had my first two threes in game three against Boston. I had my first two threes and that was it. I got four shots. You know, so that was more about staying in the moment, team basketball. I learned so much from that process because it wasn't about me. It was, you know, about Kobe and, and Powell, but it was about the team. Fisher, we, 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 we heavily relied on Derek Fisher. I don't know if we went without Derek, honestly. Derek hit more big, Derek hit just as many big shots as Kobe hit. And, 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 and maybe more, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, you know, so, and then when you talk about that moment, I mean, well, that's, I, I'm, I'm 27 and 0 in high school. You know, 67 to one in AAU, you know, like, and then everywhere else, I, I, I went everywhere, you know, everywhere, you know, so it, I wasn't surprised. I was grateful. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't surprised. I was like, wow, like my moment's here. And I didn't know that was going to happen. You know, like, you know, I, I had some offensive rebounds, got some missed shots. I got some steals. I got the ball in the block, you know, and then I got a, you know, then Kobe was the kind of soft double and team basketball. And it just led to that. So it made me really feel like, you know, I, I almost was MVP, which was like probably my biggest accolade that I never received. I, I finished six MVP voting. You know what I'm saying? I got defensive player of the year, was an all-star, got suspended a year where I was going to be more awards. That was going to be another first team all defense, probably second team all NBA, all-star. You know, so, and now I got the championship and I got the citizenship award. You know what I'm saying? So I got that. So it's like, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy. You know what I'm saying? With my career, I'm not all the way happy because I did want the MVP and I wanted the first team all NBA. I didn't get those two, but you know, it's okay. What was the relationship like with Kobe? It was very, it was very, um, it was, it was, it was just basketball, honestly, you know. I, I mean, Kobe beat me so many times, so I'm not happy in practice, except for one, because I'm super competitive. You know what I'm saying? So practice, day one practice, you know, my you know, my my, my forehead like this, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kobe too. Kobe probably more ready to go. So we we had some situations in practice where we was able to compete against each other. And he, you know, he did very well and I was very physical. Um, but then Phil Jackson has a concept where Starters play with starters all year. No playing on other teams. So, you know, we had some really good moments. I, well, I I cherish those moments because I was able to compete against Kobe every day, not just like once every month or once every three months or whatever. So, and, and he and he loves challenges. I mean, you could be as physical as you want with him, and he embraces it. He thrives. Um, so for me, at times, you know, he's our best player. So at the same time. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want him to sprain a finger. You know, I don't want him to, but I still want to be physical because I'm competing and I'm trying to get better. And he just embraced it, you know, which was like really cool. So we had a lot of, we, we, we talk a little smack, but then 
that was like when I first got there in 2009, 2010 or whatever, only maybe three weeks of really comp- competing like that. Because after that, we just went to the starters, starting group. And then that was it. We was on the same team for the entire season in every practice. Um, so it was, you know, it was great. Yeah, because it, it does not surprise me that Kobe would have embraced it. I can imagine there were some other guys throughout your NBA career where the practice experience, they hated you. Right? I mean, in Indiana, they embraced it. Steve Jackson embraced it. You know, Matt Barnes embraced it. But some people couldn't deal with it. Fran Francisco Garcia did a really good job because he's a tough guy. He's not big, though. He wasn't even 200 pounds, but I would really, you know, <laughs> I would go after him every day. And the reason I did, because he could take it. Um, some people couldn't take it, but, but for, the mo- for the most part, people was able to deal. People was able to deal, you know, was able to deal with it. You know, uh, but it was tough guarding me every day in practice. That's, not, that's just not easy. So I'm, if you look, I'm giving 100%. If you look at some of the guys today, and I, I know that like there there seems to be this push recently. I know you, you've you've spoke on this about like, hey, can Ben Simmons be in our test type? And and you've <laughs> shot that down. Uh, yeah. Why do you why do you shoot that down? Because my career is not listen. Man, I'm, my career is not what I want it to be. I just don't think it's fair to compare me. Even though you know, I'm definitely one of the greatest wing defenders defenders ever played. I have that right. I got a couple things that I can stand on. But I, I, didn't, I didn't finish the job, man. These guys are going to finish the job, man. These guys are going to, you know, they're going to go and have put up stats. They're going to win. Even though in my era, yeah, I would have, you know, I would probably would have shut a couple people down, you know. But, you know, I, I just want these guys, you know, it's just not fair, you know. I, I just don't think it's fair to, you know, compare. You know, if my career was complete, yeah, you know, uh, you know, uh, so, I, you know, I just don't think it's fair, you know, to, to, to compare those guys. I just think those guys have a better career. There are players, and it's, I think it's, there's a bit of an overlap. It's usually players before your era and then into yours a little bit that kind of look at a guy like Steph Curry and they get frustrated and think, well, if he played with us, um, how do you think you would do against Steph? What would you try to do against him? Well, I, I definitely would have had to guard him because um, I've guarded Iverson. You know, um, anytime, I, anytime a player was scoring a lot on the wing, anywhere else, <laughs> but anytime a player was, guarded, was scoring, I, I would come up with the assignment. You know, I would have to guard him. Even, but now you're talking about a 255-pound, 260-pound, you know, small forward guarding Steph Curry, who quick. That would have been difficult because I think, I think that would have been a little bit difficult because even when I, I, had, a, I had one good game against Iverson, I got Iverson twice, where I had where I was the assignment for that game. One game he might have had thirteen or fifteen, and then one game he might have had thirty or something like that. Um, so you know I, I can't really compare against Steph, but if you want to just like compare the games when I did guard point guards, that's the only thing, and it would probably have to be in my prime because I don't know if I could have guarded Steph and Curry after twenty nine, but if you look at what I did against Kevin Durant in the playoffs in two thousand nine. I mean, if you look at how I was guarding those screens, that was, I, I still look at that and I'm like, wow, that was a work of art. That was, I mean, when you look at how I was dodging each screen at 255 pounds, two, 260, <laughs> that's tough to deal with. Um, so Stephen Curry, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. I would have had to be in my prime to, to sustain him. I got to ask, I, I'm sorry, because I'm just, I got, I got excited again when you talked about Iverson. Um, what what do you what do you do? What do you do when you go, okay, all right, Iverson's the assignment tonight. Um, what are the first things you're thinking about, the adjustment throughout it, talking to each other? Take us through that whole experience. Well, I remember the first time they said, you know, I remember mean, I was in, I think I was Chicago or something. It had to be Chicago. I think it was Chicago. And I remember they, they was like, yo, you know, you got Iverson tonight. Um, contain him. <laughs> and I remember I wasn't really nervous, honestly, or anything like that, but He's so quick. You know what I'm saying? So I would, any strong, he's not strong, but he can take any abuse. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too big for Iverson. You know what I'm, see what I'm saying? So you can't really rough him up. You know what I'm saying? So that was difficult. He's, he's going to get in there. He's going to bump. He's going to get N ones. He's really, it's, it's just, it was really weird like, to see him do that. And he, and he was successful. I mean, he had, 
I played against Ivan a lot of times, and for the most part, he was putting up numbers. 